Ladies and gentlemen, welcome into another War Room video. Today, we are going to do something that is going to be really tough. The hardest ranking by division. We're talking about the AFC West. Yeah. There are four teams, four teams that look like they're playoff bound. And to be quite honest... I'm having a hard time ranking them, but we're going to go through it. A lot of these teams have had... I mean, three of these teams have probably made the yeah. biggest splash so far in free agency. The Kansas City Chiefs, arguably the best one maybe out of all of them, really didn't make any moves besides signing Justin Reed. Yeah. They're losing more pieces than they're gaining. That's without question. Does that move them down the list? Oh, yeah. yeah. But anyways, let's go ahead and just go through some of the free agent pickups or like moves that a lot of these teams have made. We'll start with the Denver Broncos. I first off thought they were going to get Von Miller without a doubt, but that didn't too. happen because he got a massive contract. But that's neither here <laughs> nor I there. What they would have paid him? No the way. Broncos. Nobody else is going to pay him no. anywhere near the amount he got paid. Nobody would sign him to a six-year no. deal at his age. <laughs> right. I just like. don't get that. So, obviously, the big move was Russell Wilson, the yeah. trade. Now, we got to keep in mind they did lose Noah Fant, who was a pretty decent tight end. He's a young guy. Yeah, he'll be all right. He's a receiving guy. Okay, yeah, sure, he's going to be all right. I, I don't feel like they have the best wide receiver core by any means. I don't even know if you could say it's top half. Uh, with the quarterback they had, didn't what? show. I think they're about to pop. Right. It, yeah, because I, I mean, think we, they're about to pop. Jerry right. Judy's about to have a breakout year. Yeah, we'll see what Sutton can do if he could stay healthy. I think they need another target over there. I mean, there, and there are some people that are still in the market. They got OBJ, Sutton, dude. They Travis got Tim Landry. Patrick. They got Judy. I think they'll... They're going to have a better core than you think. I mean, yeah. And then obviously they're going to we'll look see. better now that they have Russell Wilson. Now, their defense last year was pretty good yeah. for a while now. I'm kind of expecting it hasn't happened yet. I, it's really looking like there's a decent chance Bobby Wagner could sign with them as well, yeah. which would be the big piece. Because really, yeah. after Russell Wilson, there haven't been many really big moves yeah. uh, from them. I guess they got, they got Randy Gregory. That was a pretty big deal. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be playing outside linebacker for them. Mm -hmm. They got some offensive linemen, quite a few of them. But, I mean, obviously the big move is just Russell Wilson that's going to be going there. Yeah. The next team is the Chargers. They did some big moves. I feel like mainly the big moves in this division was defense. It was to keep up with the quarterbacks. Yeah, right, because they got to keep up with the yeah. quarterbacks. Yeah. But, I mean, there were two big offensive pieces. We'll talk about the other guys soon. But J.C. Jackson, in my yeah. opinion, the best free so agent. I think the Chargers did the best on defense. Oh, hands pickups. down. J.C. Jackson, Khalil, Khalil Mack. Mack. They mm -hmm. got Joey Bosa still. Yep. Signed Sebastian Joseph Day. They have... I think that's kind of like as far as the big signings go. Yeah. Sign Mike Williams. Yeah, they re-signed Mike Williams. So they're building up. They're ready mm -hmm. to go. All these teams are ready to go. Yeah. Is Justin Herbert going to be able to do it? Are Tough they going to gonna choke away another opportunity <laughs> to be in the playoffs? Yeah, it could be. It's hard to tell. I'm a real big believer in Justin Herbert. Yeah. But, hey, we will see. And then we talk about the Kansas City Chiefs. We talked about them. They, they didn't they, do much. Losing the Honey Badger, which is a huge loss for them. Could we see the Honey Badger going to one of these other three teams in this division? Oh, could you imagine? That would be nuts. Could imagine if the Broncos signed Ah, uh, man. I don't... Seems like the Jets are really interested in the Honey Badger. Yeah, the rumors say... of the Pittsburgh Steelers are there for the Honey Badger. I can't see the Jets. I mean, they need a safety early bad, but I still think they're just going after that guy in the draft. Sauce. Yeah. They have Carl Joseph still, I'm pretty sure. They don't have the... I don't know. Yeah, I mean... Of course, anybody would want Tyron. Mm -hmm. I, don't, yeah. I don't see why yeah. you wouldn't. And then, obviously, the Oakland... Or, sorry. Wow. Ouch. Wow. I can't stop saying that. Las I'm Vegas, sorry, okay? Baby. The Las Vegas Raiders. Big pickup with Chandler Jones to go alongside of Max Crosby. They, yeah. they, they, I would say they kind of need... Devontae Adams? I'm saying defensive side. Oh, Crosby. okay. They got a cornerback. I think it was uh, Averitt. I forget who the heck it was. I could check real quick. But Devontae Adams just traded for him. Wow. Which finally is getting Derek Carr, that guy. Anthony Avery. Yeah, they, so they signed Anthony okay. Avery to a one-year deal. He's nothing insane. Brought Belial Nichols on the defensive what? line. Wow. They got Brandon Bolden running back. I don't really know what their running back situation is. Josh because Jacobs. Josh yeah, Jacobs is kind of like so hit or miss. Yeah. Hit or miss. Is he going to be hurt? Where is he going to be at? I still have Kenyon Drake. So, okay. That's true, too. So, I mean, there's still potential for more moves to be made. I feel like these teams are just, at this point, trying to one-up each other. Oh, they are. 
That's yeah. why I feel like it's the Broncos' turn now. And I'll tell you what, though. They all did a pretty good job of doing it, truthfully. Like, yeah. I thought the Raiders kind of missed the bus here. They missed the boat. But they might have nope. hit the jackpot with Devontae Adams, to be honest. That, yeah. that was incredible. What was it, a first and a second round pick mm-hmm. for him, it yeah. seems like? like yeah. That was all that they had to yeah. give up. I mean, no with players. the big contract, obviously, but... Somebody was going to give him oh, that contract. Yeah. Easily. Did you hear that uh, the Packers actually wanted to give him the same contract that the Raiders did, but he was fed up because they tried to franchise tag him <laughs> at first? I respect that. He was done with them. I respect it. Which I, now you're I rate the, that. Now you're in the best division of football. So. <laughs> so, I mean, they have some of the best wide receivers in that division, too. Not oh, just yeah. him. Tyreek Hill's over yeah, there. Keenan absolutely. Allen's still good. Absolutely. So, Man, this is so tough. Now we're going to come to the hard part where we rank – these teams and where we think that they are going to finish at the end of this year. And I'm going to say it now. I feel like in almost any other division, I would have all these teams in the playoffs. Yeah. And there's a good chance that they all still could be in the playoffs, even though they're all going up against each other. Yeah. And I'm sitting here right now <laughs> still wondering how I'm going to rank these teams right now. What the heck are we going to do? <laughs> <laughs> this is really tough. I don't, right. even, I, I don't know who's number four. I don't know who's number one. I got an idea in oh, my I got, head. I got mine. I got an idea in my head. I, I could be completely wrong. All right. Are we ready for number four? Oh, yeah. We're yeah. going to start with number four and move yeah. to number one. Number four. Oh, sweet mother. All right. Let's <laughs> do it. Are we ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Lift them. Gun Raiders. Raiders. And the you go Broncos. Who? Broncos. What? Wow. I think it's going to take a year or two. I don't think they're okay. going to get that, right off the rib. I didn't, uh, like, all right. I respect yeah, that. they brought Russell, but we seen Russell's end of last season. He, I mean, he came back, and what did he do? Not a ton. I'm not saying he's a bad quarterback. I think yeah. Russell Wilson is a great quarterback, one of the top ten. It's just new team. I mean, like you said, the receiving court. Yeah, Jerry Judy, Tim Patrick. I mean, maybe Cortland Sutton. You know, no, I agree with that, and that's why Melvin Gordon, that. like their run, I don't know their offensive line. Yeah, they got Williams is, though. They got that rookie for Williams, second year breakout year, baby. And defense wise, I mean, what are? Oh, their defense they, is the I to me they have the best defense in this division. They I rank, don't know. Uh, I feel they are the top ten in so many stats, and they're and what about year? the Raiders? I'll tell you what, though. Mm. Now with what the Chargers have done, the Chargers That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the Chargers, That's what I'm saying. I don't, the I don't, defense uh, in the with way. all the moves being made. It's you like, could almost argue, well, I don't know. Maybe the Chiefs have the worst defense. Maybe. Yeah, with the losing pieces that they yeah, might lose. Uh, Between the, the, the Broncos, awesome. Raiders, and Chargers, I think it's really close. I said, dude, the Chiefs don't have a pass for us. They don't, their secondary is kind of damaged now. I, uh, to me, it's Last year, the worst defense was probably the Chargers. Yeah, last without year. a doubt, yeah. last year. Yeah, I yeah. think, and they really helped out. But yeah, they made some moves, man. But yeah, I'm I'm picking Oakland just because Oakland. This dude, I keep Las doing Vegas. it. I, I picked them just because. I mean, their card's a good quarterback, but he's the worst quarterback in that division. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, but I, I mean, I, it's more than just the offense. It is more than you're just right. offense, and you're I mean, right. I I don't know. I just always see Derek Carr as an average quarterback and nothing more than that. And at the end of the day, that is kind of why I'm basing it off of the Raiders. But I, I still think they're going to make the playoffs. So mm. why these teams aren't going to make it? You you think? I mean, yeah, more than I don't likely. Care how stacked it? More team than looks, likely, dude, all four. They're not all making it. That's so tough to do. Yeah, that is so tough to one do. One of these teams will probably be a disappointment. Because again, they, like the Chargers got to play these teams like a six times total. That's six times exactly. that they could. That's what I'm saying. One of these teams is going to. That's if, no if they're all that good, they could split games. And no, you're I right. Know, but that's why I think that Russell Wilson is going to be disappointing, at least first year on the Broncos. That's like I, I agree that one of these teams are going to be disappointing, and in yeah, my eyes, I, I think it's going to be. Or it could be like Matthew Stafford. We thought he might have been shaky yeah. coming in his first year, and he got a Super Bowl. Right. So well, I mean, we'll see. yeah, but I mean, we did see it. it took a little bit of time mm-hmm. with them because in the beginning they weren't the greatest team. Yeah, and I feel like it was the same case with Tom Brady whenever he first came in. He won the Super Bowl right away. Also, mm-hmm. exactly. But in the regular season, the mm-hmm. first few weeks. There were question marks. They didn't have the best record. They were coming in not the greatest well, yeah, team. Yeah, they were a wild card and everything. So, so <laughs> yes, I definitely agree with that. And I feel like they could come out to a slow start. That's a really fair point. This All right, is let's, about to be so controversial. Just everything we're about to do, man. Oh, I, I understand that. I'm looking at it right now. I'm, I'm going to make people mad. I think I am too. I'm going to probably look <laughs> back at this next week and make myself mad looking at what I'm about to do. All right, we ready? Three. Um, 
This is Dang right. it, dude. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, my gosh. Ready? No. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. Broncos. Broncos. I was thinking yeah. about that. Wow. Holy Chiefs. crap. Here come Broncos. Chiefs. Wow. Yeah. Why? I was thinking about it, I Joe. Can t- it, it's hard for me because of how good they did in the playoffs, but let's not forget what they did in the regular season last year. They came off to a slow start. Yeah. This division only got better. Except Their for defense, the Chiefs. Ex- except for the Chiefs. I just don't – I don't know. Their defense is a big concern to me. I could see them having a tough year next year. I mean, people have been calling off a little bit of a fall off of the Chiefs last year. Yeah. Sh- I know people are definitely going to be saying it this they lost year. Brian, uh, Pringle was gone. Not saying that he's like a mm-hmm. star there, but they're losing pieces too. Yeah. They have their core. They have the guys that have been there for the Super Bowl runs. Yeah. But oh, man, I don't, I don't, they are losing depth. They yeah. haven't slowed down though. And secondary is a little bit scary because it was it was an issue last year. Remember whenever we went up against Jamar Chase? Yep. And now he's going against Wilson, against Herbert, yep. Carr, going against Adams. Like, yep. I could see them having a tough time in this division. And they were they were the number one seed, right, last year no, in, no, the Titans Titans oh, in the West? Oh, in the West. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. So yeah. They now they have the toughest it. schedule. Mm-hmm. Technically, they should have the toughest schedule the, out of all these the teams. The Chargers gave it to them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the Chargers <laughs> literally gave it to them. Yep. No, no doubt. No doubt. Okay, yeah, I picked Denver Broncos, kind of just going off of what you were saying, TJ. Yeah, the, exactly. the slower start, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm a huge believer in Russell Wilson, though. Mm-hmm. I, I think he's close to a top three quarterback. Maybe not quite, definitely top five. And I, don't know, I believe the defense is good, and he could definitely make the young receiver shine. Yeah, yeah. the only reason why I put them this low is just because Russell Wilson did struggle a little bit last year with the Seahawks. Obviously, that was a kind of a falling off I'm team. That's the Seahawks. Terrible offensive mm-hmm. line. He no, got hurt. Right. I mean, this is complete. He's just got coming a great into offensive a, line, great yeah. team. Coming into a new situation, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to click. And like we mentioned, with this division, I don't think you have time this season. So I oh, just that's all or nothing. Yeah. It's all or nothing. Yeah. All right, are we ready for this next one? This is stupid. I'm looking at this now. I'm like, what the heck am I doing? Because I'm thinking my number one team should maybe be number four. I'm doing something crazy. <laughs> All right, everybody ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Lift them. Chiefs. Chargers. Chiefs. Chargers. Wow. Man, we're all over the place. Wow. Normally, whenever we do these lists, we have a pretty good agreement yep. with most things. Yep. So, in my opinion, it is so hard to rule out the, the Chiefs. We ruled them out last year, and somehow they ended up coming, and they were in the AFC Championship game. So, like, it's just mm-hmm. you can't rule them out. They are losing pieces. That's why I don't have them number one. They did show to have weaknesses last season. So, especially with all these high-caliber players in this division, I could see them taking more losses than they did last year. But... I, that's the only reason, but I would not be shocked if they still win this division with everybody coming in at all. Right. So here's how I look at it. The greatest game, hands down all season, was the Bills and the Chiefs in the mm-hmm. playoffs. Yep. Yeah. And when I look at those two teams, I see the Bills, or like the Chiefs and the Bills are like one and two up here. Mm-hmm. And then like under that, I look at that Raiders and Chargers game. And it's like, if the Raiders or Chargers were to be in that Bills position, I don't think that game would have been like remotely close that's before they made these changes that is true but it's just we look at still that team we look at how dominant the rams were with von miller and aaron donald Mm -hmm. and that's what i see happening with joey bosa and with khalil mack definitely and then that's not even talked about about to be nasty and that's not exactly i was gonna say that's not even talking about jc jackson something else dude which is going to be able to hold the best receiver wow (laughs) those two dominant men (laughs) come and destroy the quarterback that's why like (laughs) i need to see it happen but like i i mean number two i I have them head of the raiders and broncos yeah it's just I th- the Chiefs have been on another level for like I'm more scared about the Chargers coaching staff than I am the team. That's Me what's too. Holding them back. I, I actually I mean? I'm yeah. gonna do some. Can I? I'm gonna make a switch at you the can. end of this. At the end of this, yeah. we'll we'll go through it real All fast. Right. But oh, yeah, ones. Yeah, well, true. Yeah, I have Chiefs, I but the, okay. But I got, I got yeah, the Chargers. Broncos. You are the Broncos. I'm a Bronco believer. Wow. 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 Okay. I just their love team. They have the team. They were quarterback away, and they got that quarterback. I get okay. Yeah, it might take time to click. We'll see what their schedule looks like. Who knows? Maybe their first like four games might be scrubs. I don't know, but or maybe they won't need time to click. Their defense is a top ten defense last year. They I added do. pieces. Offense gone to explode. I just love everything that the Chargers did. I feel like they just did it right. They made sure that they kept Williams. They they kept that option. They're still going to have Keenan Allen. They're going to have Austin Eckler. They're going to have Justin Herbert on offense. They went big with the defense, exactly what they needed to do. They got someone else that could be a pass rusher. They got someone that could definitely compete with Tyree Kill. 
I, I think everything that they did was smart moves. And again, last season, I think they really blew it. I think they're really upset oh, they about how they blew it. Hard. So I think they're like, listen, it's it's now or never. Literally, it's now or never. My thing about the Chargers, I, I can't believe I'm trusting them right now. I'm doing this with a lot of reluctancy right now. But mm-hmm. this, in my opinion, is going to be the best team, yep. the best Chargers team that we will see. And yep. once, once Justin Herbert gets paid, they're yeah. not going to be able to get any more people. Nope. Yeah. Uh, guys are going to need to get re-signed, but yep. they're going to have to give that money to Justin Herbert. This will be the best Chargers team that we see. It's, it's, they got to do it now. Yeah, They got to do it now. It's a shame that they're in the West with all these other teams. I'm going to go completely against you, Joe. I'm putting the Broncos at four. Wow. I'm putting the Raiders at okay. three. Chiefs two, Chargers one. Okay. Wow. I respect that. I kind of like what TJ was saying with the slow no start. Broncos love out there. I tell you what. No, I d- I like them a lot. Not that much. It, man. That's not. That's really the issue. I like all these teams Same a Russell lot. Russell Wilson's a top three quarterback, and you got him last. Close two. You got him last. <laughs> yeah, but it's not all about the quarterback. Yeah. That's a big piece. There's been a lot of good quarterbacks that have missed the playoffs. There's been a lot of True. bad quarters that quarterbacks that have made the playoffs. And there's been True. a lot of bad quarterbacks that have made it. That's Jimmy true. Garoppolo, look at I, him. The bottom line, this is going to be uh, arguably the toughest division in football ever. In oh, NFL so history? Like every week in is going to be like, yeah. like, truthfully. This season was exciting, but like, I feel like every week there's going to be like two or three matchups that are like, who the heck is this? Like, it's going to be like a... And I got to be real guys. with you. I feel like we're not done with blockbuster people oh, no, that are going not. here. I mm-hmm. feel like there's going to be another huge name that's like, well, I can't believe they got oh, yeah. another huge real player. Well, I'm calling it right now. Wagner to the Broncos. Yeah. Stephon Gilmore to the Chiefs. Okay. It makes that. sense to me. Yeah, it does. Yeah. The I Chiefs need to make a play. Yeah, and they're a win now mode, so why not? So why not? And then that's just gonna make this even crazier. Wonder, and that could that right there could switch him. I, I wonder what he's asking for, Stephon Gilmore. I don't know. I I feel like you shouldn't be asking for a ton, but I feel like he could probably be. just like a two year deal. I mean, he definitely should be a top paid guy, at least like top five. He will be. I can't imagine them not. That's why I wonder if the Chiefs could afford it. That's what I'm saying. Because that's why they don't have Honey Badger anymore. Yeah. That's yeah, the only no, concern. you're definitely right. Oh, no, they, they got Justin Reed. Yeah, I was going to say, they could have afforded Honey Badger. They just, Reed's a lot younger. And that's why they went that route. Oh, man. Let us know what your rankings are down in the comments and, and why. I I know somebody's <laughs> list, probably my list, probably made I, all of our lists probably made people mad. Let's be yeah. real for a second. Your number one team is my number four team. Like, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That just shows how competitive this division is. Yeah, be. there's no division that that would happen ever. No, ever. Literally. And you could argue both ways, too. That's the crazy part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. All right, guys. <laughs> I hope it lives up to the hype. I do too. Well, that's the thing. Last year, all those games lived up to the hype. There were so many games that actually lived up to the hype that I'm hoping we don't have a down year because of how good last year was. Like if all these teams don't go at best 500, that division's a disappointment. Yeah, I'd say so. I can't see one of these teams being dominant either. I can't either because they play each other so often. That's yeah. why. Right? Yeah. No doubt. All right, guys. We're going to end <laughs> this video here. Looking forward to seeing all your rankings. We'll see you on the next video. We out.